If you are using the Element Visibility Trigger in Google Tag Manager, you'll probably use it to collect information like on a thank you page, on a form, or to see if somebody scrolled down to a particular element on the page. Um, if you can't get that to work, there are generally two issues that cause that. The first is on the actual trigger. If you go into edit it, there'll be this little box that says observe DOM changes. Make sure to click that. That's actually listening on the page to make sure that things are changing. Without that, I'm not even sure that this um, trigger will even work at all. So this is usually what happens. You just forget to, to click this checkbox. The second issue is you might have what you'd be using a CSS selector. So let's say on this particular page, we have the submit button inspect. And we see over here that it has an ID, but you were maybe tracking on this class and you're still using that ID. So what you need to do is you need to click from ID to CSS selector and then just use CSS selector rules to actually find that particular element. And it's really easy to use CSS selectors. This um, guide from W3Schools is really great and shows a lot of them. And you can also build them out in your uh, browser, uh, browser in your inspector. So if you want to learn more about Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, or Data Studio, just subscribe to our channel. Thank you.